All right, just since we've been on the air tonight at four o'clock, just keep seeing that temperature drop and drop. Yeah. And drop. Tomorrow will be better, right? Tomorrow will be better. Yeah, okay. I like tomorrow. Good. Um, and I think our pattern's okay through the weekend, and then things get more interesting yeah, after a lot that. Going so. on next week. Yeah, I got some work to do. I love when that happens. Me Every too. once in a while. Yeah, you, everybody around here benefits from that. <laughs> you know what they say about idle hands. 27 in Portland right now. Wind chill, 25 in West Cassett. Um, it was a bit breezy earlier today. The wind chill has settled down as the wind gusts themselves have settled down. But it feels like 10 in Caribou, 10 in Holton. Not bad for this time of the evening. Visible satellite mostly clear. Patch of clouds that was in southern coastal Maine has eroded and moved into the mid coast. So mostly tonight it will be clear. Coldest temperatures, though, relatively early tonight. Watch these temps. Usually they fall till about 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. In this case, we drop down 7 in Rangeley, and then we start going back up. Our air mass gets just a little bit warmer late tonight and into tomorrow, and that will make for a nicer day tomorrow. I mean, look, it's not going to be balmy, but we'll be probably in the low 40s over southern coastal Maine. I think this model is a bit too cool. 40 flat inland and then mid-30s into the mountains. So, Warmer than today, and we'll keep the sunshine for most of us. So I think it'll be a pretty pleasant day. That's how we start Friday, too. A lot of sunshine, then clouds come in from southwest and northeast, and we end up with what I put on the seven day as sunset rain. I think it's a late afternoon into kind of early evening this time of the year. The light rain settles in. It's not a very pleasant Friday evening. Periods of rain, temperatures in the 40s. There will be snow in the mountains. Good for them. They were blowing a lot of snow today. They'll add to that at least a little bit here on Friday night. That wave moves offshore. Saturday is largely calm, cloudy, kind of unremarkable. And then a couple of rain and snow showers come in Saturday late afternoon, Saturday night. And that's kind of our vibe over the weekend. It's just a little bit unsettled as we little disturbances try to rotate around this high. This high could have been great for us, but it's just not quite strong enough. So we're able to get these little waves in Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, rain and snow showers again, Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, and then a larger system could approach for Monday. And what it comes down to here is something you hear a lot during the winter, phasing. That means putting two systems together. This short wave wants to meet up with this low. How quickly does that happen? That's what we're talking about here for Monday. So the European model phases it just right in the sweet spot through the mid-Atlantic, blows this low up right off the coast, boom, that's a snowstorm for us on Monday. However, it's not the only model, and the GFS American model doesn't do that, and the result is just a couple of random snow showers here on Monday. I would lean towards the Euro, not just because I'm a weenie, there is that, but the European model does better, it seems like in these amplified situations, and the European ensemble has this storm too. The ensemble, if we remember from winter's past, is when they run the computer model with 52 different iterations. So okay, little things change here and there, so what is, how does that change the result? So when the ensemble has a storm that usually has a better certainty than if just one model has it. But okay. either way, we don't have to worry about that until Sunday night at the earliest. In the meantime, tomorrow looks good. It gets a bit unsettled through the end of the week. We will enjoy, but we'll get the shovels ready. Yeah, just in yeah, case. Yeah, I pulled mine down today, yeah, actually. Yeah, smart move. <laughs> it's time. All right, Keith, thank you.